In this video, I'm going to try and provide you a little more information um, that uh, deals with window framing and some of the structural problems you could have if you were going to be remodeling these areas. Now, here's a regular wall with two top plates and most of the pressure or weight I should say from the building is going to be sitting on top of these top plates and supported by the wall and without these headers you're going to have problems uh, with them bowing so we do need a header that is going to be a vital part of framing and transferring the load around windows and doors however the header can be in a variety of different locations I should say um, vertical locations up and down. You can put the header um, two feet off the off the ground. You can have it um, two feet from the ceiling. Um, and uh, but the main thing is is if you are going to have an opening in a in a load bearing wall, you will need a header. And these headers will be supported by trimmers, window or door trimmers full length trimmers, trimmers that go from the subsill, the base framing plate all the way to the top or from the window sill. And you are going to run into times where you're going to have double trimmers. And of course the double trimmers, we like to put double trimmers in any openings over five feet. Uh, even though I don't think that's a code, we just did that as a general rule of thumb of while we were building. And I think the main reason for that was just to provide a little more structural support for larger openings. Now you are going to run into situations where an architect or an engineer requires a specific size header, going to be a little larger, and it will require double trimmers or even 4x4s or 4x6s in some cases to support heavy loads. Now one more thing, and I think this is the most important part of the video here, is to give you an idea of the window framing for the sill and the framing below the window. And that is that these areas can be removed under certain circumstances. And uh, this is kind of the whole reason why I'm making the video, was that uh, these, some of these circumstances are going to be obvious. In this case, you can actually see the window sills look like they're uh, built out of 4x4s or 3x4s and there's blocking next to on each side of the window and these windows have shear panel on the outside. So this is a structural window. This is a dead giveaway that this window right here should not be messed with without some type of structural engineering or, or, or details, drawings, and approval from a structural engineer. And there's the strap. You can see it's a long metal strap on the bottom and the top to provide extra strength for the building, for the home itself. And again, this is important. Uh, you are going to run into cases where the shear wall will stop at the window. What, that's what we're looking at here the hold downs on each side of the uh, shear wall you can see there's two straps there and of course it stops at the window there are no straps telling us that just maybe uh, the bottom of the window could be removed and if you're going to put a door in for example and there are a few different reasons why you would be removing the window itself or the uh, framing below the window and that might be to add a door sliding glass window or even if you were going to add on build a room addition you know then this would give you a good uh, a spot to put an opening to enter these areas so these these are reasons why uh, you know you might run into cases where you would need to remove certain components and remember you can always make the window smaller but without any structural engineering, you might not want to make it uh, larger. Uh, and again, because this is going to require um, re-engineering that, that section of the building. Last but not least, here's a good example of a wall framed with a few windows in it that uh, does not have any structural shear panel on it or realistically structural requirements. Uh, that uh, wouldn't allow you to do some remodeling um, in these areas. But again, 
you do need to check with a structural engineer before removing any part of your home. And, and again, there are some parts that you might want to take it upon yourself. Hey, this won't be a big deal, but realistically, you could be opening up a can of worms. So main reason why I made the video was just to give you a little more information about windows and openings and how they can be affected by other structural components like shear panel, shear walls, engineered walls, um, hold downs, and of course the large metal straps that uh, might connect one shear wall to another wall to provide additional reinforcement for uh, one, one particular type of structure.